Hi, this is Dr. Raj Banerjee, and in this video, we're going to talk about Graves' disease and your thyroid function. So today we're going to go over pattern, the next pattern in the series of patterns we're going to go through and why your thyroid is not working. So this pattern that we're going to talk about is the thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin, which is TSI. And this is found when people have Graves' disease, okay? So when the pituitary gland stimulates TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, it goes through the bloodstream and it goes to the thyroid gland and tells the thyroid gland, thyroid cells that, hey, you know, we need to make some thyroid hormone and most of it's made there is T4. So they make T4 and the T4 is, is you know, considered very inactive hormone, okay? And it does make some T3 as well, but there is a feedback loop and it goes back to the pituitary gland and it says, hey, you know, I'm making this and there's enough and, and there's a short of interplay between, and they talk to each other. Actually, they kind of, they kind of, uh, it's like a frequency, they talk to each other. And now what happens is TSI is that it goes in there and it plays the role of this thyroid stimulating hormone and it attaches or binds to the thyroid gland itself and it starts stimulating it. And there is no breaking mechanism and this TSI is, is basically just kind of gets rev, revved up. And these antibodies that are made by your immune system and then when the, this happens, now we, we lost that negative feedback loop, right? And this leaves you with no control. So remember, your thyroid is like a gas pedal, right? Think of, like, for example, think of you're driving your car and, you know, you're having, the brake goes out, right? You're driving, the gas pedal is pushed in all the way to the floor and there's no brake, there's no controls, okay? So, you're, so you continue to put out the thyroid hormone and there's, there's no ability to stop that. So what happens is that there's literally, it just starts running away like the car with no brake and it, it, that's what happens to your thyroid gland. So very often what we, what we see happening is that the doctor will either put you on a drug to diminish that function or use radiation to stop the thyroid ability to produce thyroid hormone. And once that gland is destroyed, then you become a hypothyroid and then you're giving a hormone medication for the rest of your life. So sometimes and very often this does need some kind of medical management and someone to help you work these things out. Uh, one of the things that we do holistically is support your immune system. So remember, this is an immune attack to your thyroid. So very often this does require, like I said, some medical management. But in my office, obviously, if you came in with this, I would advise you to probably go see an endocrinologist and you know, have that support system there. Uh, and what we would do is we would work and look at your immune system. And again, the way I like to do this is we, like I said, we put like a dimmer switch in there and dim down that attack so it doesn't, so actually the braking system can work again. So you won't have things like high, high heart rate, high blood pressure, um, and things like that. And these things can get pretty serious. So it is pretty scary when they do happen. So you have to be very cognizant of that, okay? So if you have very, very, very low TSH, um, this is, this is what you will see in the labs and you may we're talking about like you know 0 0.0003 or something like that very very low function of the TSH then the first thing that's going on is that you know it's it's going to go into your doctor's mind is that, hey we might be dealing with graves and they should look at the TSI and they should look at these other thyroid um, markers that we talked about in the last videos like the TPO and the TGA so we know what the the antibody markers are and so again, the proper blood test is going to be very crucial when you have these kind of symptoms. So this is Dr. Raj Banerjee. I hope this helped you understand your thyroid a little in more detail. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, go to my website. It's called getleantoday.com and enroll in, into my free webinar. I have a ton of information to share with you. We make it entertaining and it's going to be fun. So I'll see you there. This is Dr. Raj Banerjee. Stay tuned. Please make sure you like my video and also subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make these kind of videos for you. Your support is appreciated. Leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of other videos you'd like to see so I can make them for you. Thank you so much and please visit my site getleantoday.com.